How to streamline, upgrade, and fully automatize your video productions? Discover in this video how to program and trigger movements on all your cameras and create efficient workflows. Welcome to a new episode of the Panasonic Live Video Series. My name is Guilhem, and today we are in Cologne at KST Innovation Center, and I have Joma here with me. Thank you, Guilhem. I'm happy to be here today and talk about robotics. As you know, this is one of my specialities. Keep watching and you will see how Panasonic can be your robotic systems provider, fully integrating the cameras and robotics in a seamless way. Robotic camera systems enable smoother and more intricate movements that can easily be managed remotely from intuitive and centralized software platform. That means any camera movement can be fully automated, programmed and repeated by one single operator. Also, thanks to their compatibility with AR and VR engines, our robotic systems allow contents to be enhanced with virtual graphics. During the next few minutes, we will demonstrate our robotics top five and how you can benefit from them. The first one is obviously our wide range of PTZ cameras that include the latest technological advancements. Our versatile lineup includes indoor and outdoor solutions and support 4K up to 50 and 60p. We also support the latest protocols, including SRT and NDI, as well as 3D for tracking. Our PTZ cameras also support single cable operation, whereby video, audio, control and power can be all obtained via single Ethernet connection. Moving on now to the Panapod system, an elevation unit specifically designed for our PTZ cameras to make them more mobile. Panapod can work as a standalone system on a stage, in a studio, in a stadium, or a conference venue. It achieves camera positions that are great for spectators while being unobtrusive to the performance recorded. The Panapod can be operated over the network via any Panasonic control panel. Elevation values can either be stored as presets during the show or controlled via a pair of foot pedals. Even though the Panapod can reach an impressive height of 3 meters, the complete system and all its accessories fit into a compact fly case to ensure easy transportation, setup and breakdown. In short, Panapod is an affordable and useful companion for our PTZs and together act as a neat flyaway kit solution. Sounds excellent! Moving on now to a more intricate solution, the tuning system. Tuning combines our PTZ cameras with motorized dollies and telescopic columns. When used together, it provides broadcast quality movements that go beyond the basic move of a simple dolly or jib. The combination creates dynamic, super smooth imagery for live events, TV studios, streaming productions and any application that use predefined sequences. That's right, the tuning system allows you to add production value and creativity when building a cost-effective studio with smooth movements that you can use on air. Tuning makes for a truly affordable and flexible system that can be designed using a variety of combinations. This includes ceiling or floor versions, customizable track lengths, and AR-VR compatibility through the 3D protocol. We are in fact using it today to shoot our conversation at this desk, just as you would do in a visual radio setting, for example. Now, let us move on with a robotic system designed for our box cameras, the Robihead D1. It works with HD and 4K box cameras and is used in broadcast studios or for stationary work in theaters, conference halls and parliaments. On top of its carbon fiber design, it provides smooth, silent and precise movements. Indeed, the Robihead can be operated via IP or serial interface, making integration with the studio infrastructures or outside broadcast venues simple and straightforward. Also, by using high-resolution encoders on each axis, it integrates easily into the most cutting-edge AR-VR environments. Last but not least, let's move on now to the most imposing of our robotic system, the KST CamBot. A key part of the system is a six-axis robotic arm that can be fully automatized for repeatable trajectories. Clean tracking shots of any complexity can be programmed with high repeat accuracy and centralized IP control. It incorporates high safety standards for small spaces. And as you can see, it provides beauty shots of real complexity. Cambot control sits behind the system and allows full control of several robotic devices from a centralized position thanks to its global software interface. 
Yes, in combination with all the Panasonic cameras and robotics that we mentioned earlier, it creates a 4K-ready control system that is ideal for news and sports studios, live events, as well as augmented and virtual reality applications. In addition to our wide array of robotic camera systems, we are also using Kairos, our new groundbreaking IT IP video processing platform, as a central piece to put this episode together. Breaking free of the boundaries of traditional hardware is what Kairos is all about. Kairos allows to manage an unlimited number of video layers, basically acting as a Photoshop-style tool for live compositing. With Kairos, a synth replaced the traditional concept of MEs, while layers replace the traditional concept of keys. One single Kairos server allows to create, within minutes, very intricate compositions which would be extremely difficult to achieve with traditional hardware-based systems. We should not forget the impressive low-latency performance of Kairos, that being a single frame. This is the first on the market, making the platform a very powerful tool in all contexts and applications. Kairos and our robotic camera systems offer many opportunities for new applications and processes, helping live production become more dynamic and innovative than ever. Thank you, Joma, and thank you all for your attention. If you have any questions or require additional information, please use the comment section below the video. You can now get more insight about how this episode was created by following the upcoming behind the scenes. Join me now in the behind the scenes of the episode 3 of Panasonic Live Video Series. I'm happy to welcome you to the KST Innovation Center. We are here in the projection studio and let me show you what equipment we have been using to produce the program today. The program has been produced completely in 4K. The studio cameras provided the close-ups on both presenters, while the robotic systems provided the beauty shots. Next to me, I have the latest addition to the Panasonic Live Camera Systems lineup is the AK UC3300. It is a 4K studio camera with a large 4K sensor with 11 megapixels count, providing high sensitivity, low noise, and a high resolution of 2000 TV lines. It supports HDR and BT2020 color space. Also, it can produce high speed HD shooting that fits broadcast studios, live events, and eSports. Additionally, we have introduced the AK HC 3900. It uses the same sensor technology as the 3300 to produce a high quality HD picture. It is a cost effective model addressed to broadcast, corporate, and education markets. In future, it can be also upgraded to 4K. Here I am surrounded by a representation of the different robotic systems that can be provided by Panasonic. Let me start with the tuning system, which I also mentioned in the previous episodes. But here we have a different configuration. We have on one side the dolly, on another side the totem. In this case, we have a wide floor dolly where the camera is mounted using a riser. The reason for that is to put some height into the camera so that the camera sits at the eyes level of the presenters. The riser has another benefit. As you can see, we can attach a prompter. Another component of the tuning configuration is the totem. In this case, we have installed hanging from the ceiling. That's why we call it descender. It provided a wide shot with a nice vertical movement during the show. Both the dolly and the totem were set into loop so that the switcher operator can choose any time from any of these two angles. Talking about vertical movement, we have another solution. It's the Panapod. It's an elevation unit made for the Panasonic PTZ cameras. It's designed for live events. This is why all you see here can fit into one single flight case. In a studio, the Panapod offers a more clean and secure mounting solution for the PTZs. Instead of a tripod, the Panapod sits on a heavy duty base. We can use the Panapod to adjust the camera at each presenter's height. 
and we can control that elevation from Panasonic control panels or from a pair of foot pedals. And here above me, we can see the Cambot robotic arm. It sits in the center of the studio. Thanks to that, we can create movements coming from the rear to the front or from very high to almost to the floor. This way, we can produce spectacular pictures that we can use as beauty shots, for example, between the fixed positions of the presenters. These beauty shots, we can use it for the intros, for the outros, or in between the fixed shots of the presenters. As you can see, the robot is surrounded by other cameras and devices, but thanks to the collision detection function, you don't have to worry about the robot hitting any other device or any person that can be in the way of the movement. All the systems that I have explained can be controlled over IP. It means that we can control in a centralized way, as we have done in this program, but also remotely. From the control room, we also adjusted the background projection that we have been using in our program. And to know more about that, let's move there and talk to Elge. The way how it's done over here uh, on this uh, innovation center, doing the um, projection over here, I'm feeding two outputs actually, and they're both around about 95%, and I'm doing the edge blending over there um, within my outputs uh, for about this size. So the edge blending right now comes from Kairos. So there's the background layer, I have the graphic elements over here, um, and even though I have this ultra wide screen, which is right now something around about 32 by nine or so, um, I can still go into the menu and saying I want to insert new pips and whatnot and drag it all across the screen so I'm not treating this as two individual parts for the left and right shot. For me, that's one canvas size. I can adjust within the, within the GUI uh, and just turn it on and create my output for that. So turning on another pip within the screen and just simply dragging this all across the screen down there. I'll leave it there, put it there and um, manage my output which I'm sending to the projector. Kairos in general is a system where I define uh, whatever resolution, whatever frame rate comes in, I can treat individually per scene in every individual resolution. And on top of this, I can decide on the output side what resolution I define for this output. Is it a, is it a, um, a display which is sideways, like this is nine by 16, or is it four by three, whatever, whatever scale it is. So, Kairos is completely independent in terms of resolution on the input side, processing side, and output side. Realizing productions like the live series of Panasonic here during the last days is not a normal task for the KST Innovation Center, of course. We are a development, a research center. You can say the, the usage of the Innovation Center is tripled a little bit. One part, of course, is inviting interested customers to see the complete workflow here. The second part is to bring engineers from the different manufacturers to KST to see how their own technology is working in this completed workflow. And on the third part, we are developing, of course, our own products. A good sample for it is KST Cambot. As we already said, since 2015, roughly, uh, the complete industry is going in direction IP. Uh, the implementation of Kairos in the Innovation Center is now really the first step in this direction because Kairos is clearly an IP-based product and um, it's the first step, a central step, uh, and brings us forward very far in advance. In the closer future, we are quite sure that we can use instead of SDI 12G or Quad 3G SDI, for example, the SD2110 signal flow. With Kairos, we have nearly unlimited possibilities regarding this IP-based signal flow. I hope you have enjoyed this technical tour through the Innovation Center, getting a better insight about how this episode has been produced. Thanks for watching, stay well, and see you soon.